Retarded avatar. <laughs> Looks like an avatar. <laughs> Daniel's taller. What if a gorilla ever climbed to the top of that dude and started fighting off airplanes? <laughs> what if that guy wore a leafy green toga and sold assorted cans of vegetables to the public? <laughs> Sang a song and goes, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I wonder if a kid named Jack ever climbed to the top of that dude. And stole a deuce and lays golden eggs from a giant that lives at the top of that gangly beast tall looking freak. Bumped his head on an overpass. I wonder if he's ever been declared a hazard by the FAA. I wonder what FAA stands for. When the Lurks from the Adams family start doing stand-up comedy. I think I've seen this dude before, standing out in front of a used car dealership with an air hose up his pants like doing this. thicker than this dude. I can't even see him from behind that microphone stand. Dude probably never lost a game of hide and go seek in his life. Can hide behind a tree or a telephone pole or a support cable to a telephone pole. I bet Rice and Week gets sent to that dude's house every month. From Ethiopian kid. With a note attached to it that goes, dude, just take it. You need it worse than we do. At least we look full. Marbles on a hardwood floor. Bamboo wind chimes. During a hurricane. They can start moving too fast to be like rubbing two sticks together. They start a fire. That dude would light up like a Christmas tree. Or a menorah if you're Jewish, but I doubt it in Jacksonville, Florida. Alright, I'm six feet nine inches tall. Thank you, I did it myself. I weigh 155 pounds. Oh, now the women are pissed. This is bullshit. Oh no, he's an asshole. <laughs> Six, nine, and 155 pounds. And uh, I, when I tell people that, probably about five times a day, someone different will come up to me and tell me that I'm tall, like I didn't know that shit already. They go, hey, you are tall. I go, hey, that, thanks for telling me, that explains everything. Now I understand why it's so hard to find jeans that go longer than my ankles. It explains why doorways and ceiling fans seem so freaking close. It explains why all I see is parks and bald spots all day, so thank you for telling me. There's a bunch in here, don't worry about it, there's a lot of them. But then they, when I tell them I'm 6'9", then they always ask me the question. What question do they ask me? Do I play basketball? I go, yes I do. Do you help Santa Claus make the toys in the North Pole? <laughs> so he's gonna help you look a little booger. Do you do that? <laughs> you don't do that, you must make candy and Willy Wonka's chocolate back in the house. But Oompa Loompa look like little shit. <laughs> People like to know if I go out with tall women or short women. I go out with the shorter women because I'm not comfortable going out with a woman who's taller than me. That would be weird. Can you imagine trying to introduce a woman who's 6'10 to my parents? Be like, Mom, Dad, meet my new girlfriend. Emma? Zahn. Emma Zahn. That's right. Where'd 
do we meet? Uh, Ripley's. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's where it right at. So like I'm shorter because the height difference is funny. Like one day I'm shopping at Target, right? True story. One day I'm shopping at Target and this little short lady comes up to me and asks me to get something off the top shelf for me. Okay, that's not a true story. <laughs> that didn't happen one day. That happens every fucking day. Now, Target calls me three times a week. I'm going, hey, can you come get this thing down for us? Because we can't reach it. I'm like, I'll be there when I can. I'm at Walmart changing light bulbs right now. Right? You can. <laughs> so she asked me to get something off the top shelf for her. I get it for her, and now she's looking at me like this. She's going, Wow, you are tall. How tall are you? So I go, 6'9", how short are you? She goes, 5'1". Do you play basketball? I go, yeah, do you make cookies in a tree somewhere? She goes, wow, 6'9". You know what, you should have given me nine of your inches. Too late for that lady. That. <laughs> so we dated for a little while. <laughs> I should probably apologize to you guys right here. You guys thought you had good seats. Now you're like, fuck this place. <laughs> this is awful. I thought this was gonna be good. But remind me not to have, let me look at the marquee next time somebody's coming to this event. Yes. Well, I'm hurt.